Hello everybody and welcome back to my Dreamfall Chapters Let's Play. Let's continue, shall we? Now I need to find a city green. I wish Crow was with me. I feel less alone with that silly bird around. Asking you shall receive, I think. I saw a square thingy pop up. Was that him or something completely different? I guess something completely different. Oh, oh, wait, wait a minute. Oh no, it is Crow, yay! You're back! And your head's still on! Did you swim? Swim? No, boat. I boated. I mean, they dropped me off. In a boat. Impressive. So, what's the next step on our grand adventure? Tea and biscuits? A hearty nap, perhaps? I need to find the city green and the home of Abnaxus. I visit the city green every day to clean my feathers in the fountain. Follow me. All right, following. I really wish you had wings. So do I, Crow. Hey, are you okay? Sure, why wouldn't I be? I mean, April and of course i'm not okay okay but i'm okay i'll be okay it's okay we're okay don't worry about it okay okay she's not the first friend i've lost and she won't be the last you learn to roll with the punches it's either that or punch back real hard how's your memory coming along do you remember anything about this place now I worked so hard to remember, but no, not much. It was winter. True. Winter changes everything, what with the snow and the ice and all. And the city looked different. Smaller. It probably has grown a bit. But no, I don't really remember anything at all. Perfectly fine. I also remember very little, but then I am a bird with a bird brain. So what can you expect? What's going on here? Isn't that... Are they trying to chop down Abnaxus's abode? Great. That's great. So this is it. Abode of, uh... Big, ugly thing what speaks funny? Apparently so. And there's someone else here. Apparently so. Huh. Holy tree's been knocked down. The electric will take me seriously. They'll see I have the power to get things done. Maybe then I can stop licking the asses of the Azadi. Goddess this and goddess that. It leaves a bad taste in my mouth, sucking up to their feminine deity. Give me a world without gods and goddesses, a world ruled by humans and true Northlanders. No magicals, no supernatural women folk, no superstitious invaders. A world by and for man with a woman in her rightful place at home so you well, won't put your back into it man this is pathetic it's merely a tree as i was saying so dick get the hell away from that tree ah a member of the voting public uh, i honor hillary esquire to your service madam but uh, i'm sure i don't need to introduce myself to you hmm? You've seen my face in print and in public appearances. You know me as an honourable and truthful fellow who stands with the common man. The, and woman. We shan't forget the common woman. Yes, yes. I'm, of course, running for Commissioner of City Watch, a position sorely and desperately in need of new blood. The watch needs strength. It needs direction. It needs humanity. In other words, it needs me. Let's see if I can get him talking about himself. He sounded more than happy to do so. And uh, no, I'm not really that interested in him, to be honest. He's gunning for a political position with the City Watch. I wonder what his end game is. Can pretty much guess what his end game is, so... It looks anyway. like they're trying to destroy Abnaxus's abode. He, uh, he it looks like he appears to be an Azadi supporter. I wonder how genuine it is. 
It looks like they're trying to destroy Abnaxus's abode. Why are you trying to knock down this tree? Well, it's not just a tree. It's an affront to common decency and humanity. This so-called domicile was the dark and dangerous den of one of the most militant of magicals. An abominable beast that threatened our young and our women by its mere existence. Eradicating this occult stone tree from our historic green is not just my election promise to voters, but my God's given responsibility as a human being. Ah, uh, enough of that. Talking to that dick. So <sighs> that's... I've had enough. Yeah, I've had enough. Well, best of luck with everything. Luck is the lazy man's excuse for failure. Luck is an occult idea. I create my own destiny, young madam, and so should you. Here's my advice to you. Find yourself a decent human husband and start breeding decent human babies. This is how you can best contribute to our common manifest destiny. And remember, a vote for honor is a vote for humanity. How about a punch to honor's face? Is that the best you can do? Oh, I take the axe myself if I can just moisturize my hands. This, you know, dry air, well. Crow, I need your help. To do something to get rid of that prick. So what now? I don't know. Do you have any suggestions? We kill them, bury their bodies, and then go about our lives as if nothing happened. That's disturbing. I know. I'm dark. I'm really not in the mood for killing today. Or any day. Fine, then you come up with something. I'll settle for knocking them out. <laughs> and then carting them off somewhere so they can wake up in a ditch or something. Crow, could you fly over there for me? Why? Just trust me. Why? Jesus, please, Crow. Fine, pardon me for wanting to play a role in my own destiny. I'll do it. Here we go. Again? Seriously? Ugh. Fine. I take the axe myself if I can just moisturize my so bird. Filthy magic. Damnation. Where did it go? Okay. What kind of shoddy job are the Azadi doing when they're still so Crow? Oh, uh, there you are. That sort of worked. Let's do that again. But how about... Yes, land over there. Yeah, yeah, I know the drill. Again. There we go. Sock One down. Fool. <sighs> we'll need to carry him home to have someone look at his head. The tree can wait until tomorrow. You do the carrying. I do it myself, but someone needs to lead the way and keep an eye out for uh, potholes. Was brilliant. Thank you. First, I did my thing, and then that goofball tried to hit me with a rock, and then stuff happened, and dung for brains got knocked out, and then they all left. End scene. It was almost like one of those puppet shows that Wizard puts on in the square. It was hilarious. I'm glad you enjoyed it. That's the most fun I've had since, since. I don't know. I guess since I hung out with April all those years ago. Locked, but I have the key. This place looks a lot bigger on the inside. It is a lot bigger on the inside. Okay, this is freaky. I feel dizzy. There must be magic here because this makes no sense. Things can't be bigger on the inside than on the outside. Then again, why should I be surprised? I've seen weirder things. Weird is my new normal. 
Right, so, clues. Search for clues about the Purple Mountain. Those are some portentous looking books. I wish I could read them. Obnaxus must have been a big believer in crystals. Or maybe this is how people light their houses. Maybe this is totally normal for Arcadia. Obnaxus was a very well-read man, Thing. Oh, hello. Oh, that's interesting. Someone's hit. Who's? Oh, God. I must apologize, ma'am. I didn't mean to frighten you. Zoe Castillo. You're the last person I expected to find here. I remember him from my last visit to Mercuria. Brian, right? Right. <laughs> Brian. Brian Westhouse. <laughs> we spent a few days in cramped quarters on a small airship. I'd be surprised if you didn't remember me. It's been a confusing year. For a while, I remember nothing. Even when oh. I tried my best to remember, I couldn't. Well, not until now. I know that feeling all too well, Miss Castillo. So you're back in Mercuria, and in this place of all places. How in the name of the balance did you get inside? People have been trying for years, but this house has strong wards. Venar magic, the oldest there is. And now I understand why. It's a treasure trove. Wait, it, is that the annals of dreaming? Good God, that's a lost treasure. Only five were ever made. I'm not sure I want to tell this man absolutely everything yet. Why be secretive about it? I'm sure I can trust him. Nah, let's go with Fake. I'm not sure yeah, I'm... fuck it. I know my way around wards. So I see. Your talents run deeper than I remember, Miss Castillo. I'm impressed. Pardon my curiosity, but... What are you looking for here? Abnaxus himself vanished a decade ago. Before I answer that, I went with Faig because... How did he get in? He said that it's a difficult place to get into with the wards and magic and stuff. We got in because of the key, but how did he get in? Anyway, so, uh, Abnexus or Curious? I should trust Brian. There's no point hiding anything from him. Mm, I'm still suspicious of him and how he got into that, uh, into this place, so, Curious. It's not that I don't trust him, but I was just curious about what was in here. You know what they say about curiosity, Miss Castillo? It killed the cat? What? No, uh... Curiosity is the doorway to knowledge and wisdom. Looks like I picked the perfect day for a stroll in the green. I was wondering why that odorous Hillerus fellow wasn't still trying to chop this tree down. Now I know. Let's see if we find anything interesting, shall we? I still want to know how you got into the place. I didn't leave the door open. I mean, now that I think about it, maybe I left the door unlocked and that's how he got in. I, I don't know, but if it's warded by magic, surely even... Interesting. Even if I left the door unlocked, you still need the key to enter if it's warded by magic? I don't fucking know. I'm just going to go up here. Those are some portentous looking books. I wish I could read them. Alright, it looks like I need to be here. 
This is fascinating. Fine. Have you found anything of interest? Keep looking. This place is a treasure trove. But I was reading that book before. Uh, fine, whatever. Oh, hello. All those years, and it was right here under my nose. this mean hmm. right, I'm gonna take another look upstairs see if there's any notes that I missed there is okay I was right uh, hello it where is it where's it gone ah uh, there it is there it was oh, come on Come on! Bleh. Gotta get the right angle apparently. <laughs> Here we go, finally. Without a reference to the Purple Mountains, I that map see. won't help me. I'll make a note of that. Have Noxus left so much behind? There's a wealth of information here. Hmm. What do you think this means? Hmm. I'm not sure there's much to learn from that one. This looks interesting. The first dreamer references in the annals of dreaming. Uh, that's this book right here. And the chapter about the first dream, it's certainly a starting point. Let's see what it says. Can you read that book? I've lived in Arcadia for decades, and there hasn't been much to do aside from studying ancient texts, so yes, I can read this book. Let's see, the chapter in question speaks of the Ular. They are said to be wardens of the Dreaming One, whatever that means. It's a rough translation. The English language isn't quite up to the task. The Ular and the Yete, one people that split into two, that sounds familiar. It says here the Yete left the Purple Mountains to go south to burrow into the ground something about a well of dreams. I mean, I don't know how much of this is true and how much is fantasy or prophecy. It's a, a difficult book to decipher. There's also, something about two dreamers becoming one? It's vague. This is almost certainly a prophecy of some sort. The Ular live on Cloud Peak. It's in the mountains of Yedra. Where is that on the map? Ah, there it is. Straight north across the plains, right in the middle of the border mountains. This is an old book, so... I don't know if they still live there. I've never heard of the Ular. They might all be dead. I saw something drop out of the book. Let's pick that up. That note fell out of the annals when Westhouse turned the pages. Do I want to give it to him, though? Ah, uh, I knew it! I knew it! Maybe I'm overthinking things. Here, 
maybe he isn't that suspicious. I don't know, it's just saying about if that if this place is so hard to get in to, how the hell did he get in? Fascinating. This note fell out from the pages of the annals. What's a soulless stone? I'm not sure. The soul stone was taken from Luke's by the warlock Clax. It must be retrieved or the past, present, and future will cease to be. That sounds ominous. It does indeed. I don't know about any soul stone, but I'm guessing this Clax fellow does. I wonder if Abnaxus means old Roper Clax. April told me his story. He was a two-bit wizard who resided in a floating castle up north near the border mountains. April said she taught him a lesson. She didn't get into any details, but he lost his castle. Last I heard, he's doing children's theater here in town. Reformed, apparently, if that's a thing a wizard is capable of. Sounds like this soul stone is important. Okay. Can I take that map now? I'm sure Abnaxus yep. won't mind me borrowing this. I'll return it to him in person, if I make it to Cloud Peak. Well, I might as well ask him to see the other notes as well then. What do you think this means? Hmm. I'm not sure there's much to learn from that one. Here's another note. On the matter of the kin and the approaching war of the balance. <laughs> By Jove, this is the information we've been looking for. I can't believe it was right here all this time. Your help has been invaluable, Zoe. I'm in your debt. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave now. I should get going. Should we... Would you mind terribly if I stayed here to read these books? Well, this is... It's private property, isn't it? Abnoxus isn't coming back, and I've been itching for a chance to peruse his library for years now. I promise I won't remove anything or make a mess. He might have the best of intentions, but I made a promise to Blind Bob. I'd feel awful if anything happened to Abnaxus's abode. Yeah, I'm refusing. Sorry. Sorry, but no. I'm sorry. I don't think I can let you stay in here. I'm not sure I need your permission. I... Only joking. <laughs> I understand. I'll take my leave now, Miss Castillo. I certainly hope we'll see each other again soon. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!